looks better. Looks right? much better in that way. Okay. Hey, Dirk, we're here at the uh, Tascam booth and uh, Mesa 2007. You've got some new stuff that we haven't seen before. Yeah, we have several new stuff. I would not say you haven't seen before because we're showing again a cassette deck. Whoa, old school. Yes, really old school, but there are still many tape decks, tapes outside. And there are still countries where tape is one of the favorite formats. So we said uh, there's nobody else offering professional tape decks anymore. So we got the request from our distributors. Hey, can't you build something like that? And we did. So have you changed anything to do with the old transport and made any, is there more about more design? Because I mean, I imagine since they were originally yeah. designed, there must have been improvements somewhere. Yeah, it's more now, it's an easy design. So it's a fix or it's a already finished a transport we are using. So one we used in the hi-fi uh, part before. But so, what we did is we thought, okay, you don't need a plain tape, tape deck or a plain cassette deck. What you need is an, an installation is a CD player. And nowadays people come with a USB stick with their MP3 files on it. So we thought, okay, what can we build around that? And we said, the final result was the CDA 580. So you can play back cassette, you can record onto cassette, you can play back CD, you can play back and record onto USB, and you can copy your tape to USB, okay, or you can so copy your uh, CD to USB. If you own the copyright, obviously. Yeah, of course, only for those stuff. Well, that's really interesting, because I mean, I guess for places where people need all sorts of playback, maybe live venues or yeah. theaters or installations and, of real. And there are still many people with cassettes outside with a big box of old cassettes who need to, uh, who want to get, uh, get them into their computer, into MP3, and they could use that perfectly. And what kind of connections have we got on the back? We, uh, uh, like phono, traditional yeah. sort of phono stuff, right? Yeah, okay. the standard RCA. And what does this, re this retail at? Uh, it will be around 300 euros, so for the price of a standard CD player, you get even more. You get a CD player, a cassette deck, and the MP3 play function. When I was a kid, you, we always used to go to hi-fi stores and check the eject speed of the cassette deck to see how, yeah. how it was. Ah, oh, yes. It's not too slow and not too fast. Damped. Yeah. That that, yeah. it, when I was young, that showed a sign of quality. Yeah. <laughs> So what else have we got uh, here? That's, uh, yeah, so let's say cassette is some kind of old school, as we already mentioned. Nowadays, you're no longer using, or many people are not no longer using cassette decks. They are using SD media or CD media. What we implemented here now in the new SSR250N and SSCDR250N is additional networking function. That's what the N stands for. That means I can record on this device and automatically after recording I can transfer the files via the network to an FTP server and store them there and archive them there. I can do it vice versa if I have a big shop where you get uh, several departments with several players or even a worldwide spread uh, uh, retail chain. You can send your uh, load, upload your actual your offers your directly your on Christmas FTP. Christmas playlist. Yeah, or your Christmas playlist onto one FTP and automatically upload it to all devices. Ah, so when we when we're going into the big chain department stores and we're hearing the same kind of uh, music, it, yeah. that's your fault, right? Exactly. That's the idea behind it. <laughs> that's really so. Uh, it's, I presume it's so when it, you get bored in London, New York, and Frankfurt by the exactly the same songs, it's us. <laughs> So um, it's got Ethernet connection, presumably, is that? It got Ethernet connection that can be used not only for data transfer, but as well for remote control. So using an actual controlling system like AMX, Crestron, or any other IP-based controlling system, you can connect it to it. We can t control it via RS-232 still. We are parallel port. We have a control app for it, so you can control it when it's connected to a computer system via your iPad. And what sort of formats does it uh, record in on SD? Can you do WAVs and MP3? We have an MP3, that's the main. And what's point. that, 24-bit, 48? 24-bit, 44.148, up to 96K. Ah, okay, neat. Uh, optional, we have a Dante card for it. So if you're a system integrator using Dante for your complete system, you can simply hook it up using a CAT5 cable and select it in Dante controller as source or recording target. Ah, oh, right, okay, so I mean for installation, for broadcast, for all exactly. kind of, yeah. So for modern broadcast or IP-based uh, installation systems, we are really prepared with that unit. And it's a nice, slim, single U as well. Yeah. 
And what's the price for this guy? Have you got a, got oh, a we have not fixed the prices yet, but we had the series without networking before. So we will try to bring them in the same price range and drop the price range a little of the uh, non-network ones. Okay. So around 1,000 euro for the CDR version, for the CD version. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Is there any more stuff that we need to see? Or yes, is that, oh, there's wow, another oh, unit we have on the opposite side, so let's, let's go up. there. Ah, right, sort of utility, yeah. task, uh, uh, USB interface, right. Yes, so as you see, the number US 1 by 2, uh, if you see our history, we have the US 2 by 2, 4 by 4, 16 by 8, and 20 by 20, and it's always the ins and outs. So in this case, one by two means we have one microphone input and an instrument line level input, which is more than suitable for most of the users who are producing their own songs with a microphone and an acoustic or electric guitar playing into the unit or via that unit into their computer. Another option is all the video guys. Uh, you're doing video post-production or speech voiceover recording. You don't need more than one microphone input at once. You simply can use that one. On the output side, or on the back side, we have an additional pair of RCA inputs. So if you have your vinyl or another source, ah, so it's a phono in, right? Can connect it directly. It's not yet a phono in. We're ah, okay. searching for a solution to get uh, that done, but that's not yet fixed. Uh, direct monitoring for latency-free monitoring with a switch and control in the software, and RCA out. And a phantom power on the mic. And phantom power for the mic. And that's all bus powered, is it presumably? It's all bus powered. It runs with iOS, with uh, Windows 10, and uh, with uh, Mac OS. Ah, so is that that's an external power supply? So that means that it'll provide the power. It doesn't have to take it from the from the directly from the, your iPad or whatever. Exactly. Right? Okay. How much is this guy? Uh, we will be below 99 euros. So budget. it's a really entry budget level project product. And available when? Uh, they will be available within the next two, three months. Okay, great. Is that it? That's it. Thank you very much, Dave. You're welcome. It was nice to meet you here.